and they're off. Racing away, six furlongs at the journey for the £100,000 Group 2 Duchess of Cambridge Stakes, sponsored by Bet365 and Morge in the royal blue jacket for Ray Dawson, the first one to begin. Mayland Sea racing a little keenly in the light blue silks, more towards the near side of the violet colours, Queen Ollie under Rossa Ryan. Lizzie tucks in behind those. And then Carmella, just at the back of the field, is tag light, but are pretty tightly grouped as they continue the way up the home straight and they'll soon be at halfway. It is Morge. Morge leading narrowly from near sided Queen Ollie. Right in behind them is Malin C together with Lazoo. Then Carmella just being shaken along, followed then by Tagline. They're racing inside the final two and a half furlongs. Morge and Queen Ollie dispute. Lazoo poised in behind them. Then Malin C and wider out there is Tagline. Carmella ridden for more towards the near side. Quite a few of the chance though as they're about to race towards the final furlong. Morge narrowly from Lazoo now being asked for more. Then Queen Ollie, Malin C and Tagline and Carmella, they rise the hill, Little in it, Morge and Lazoo, Queen Ollie back in third, Morge and Lazoo, bit of contact there between them, Morge and Lazoo to the line, they head, Morge! Morge has won the Duchess of Cambridge, beating Lazoo, Queen Ollie and Tagline, then Carmella and Malin C. Dawson, who was on board Morge in the Group 2 Duchess of Cambridge there. Many congratulations, you survived the stewards' inquiry, what went on in there? Yeah, no, look, obviously there was interference, I was unaware where Frankie was until probably inside the last furlong and it was a little bit late then I straightened my filly up and in fairness you know she, she she was always going to stay in front you know so we were fine we obviously kept the race but uh look it's mandatory you're, you're probably going to get a range between two to four days and I got three which is which is fair enough you know I watched the video the head on and you know I did let her drift across and you know you have to be punished for that but uh I'm over the moon for for the filly and Saeed and uh, his highness Sheikh Mohammed because we obviously got very excited when she won first time out in Newmarket and Obviously, Ascot didn't, you know, live out to what we hoped. She ran a great race, but we bumped into it on the day a very good horse. But um, I said coming in that day in Ascot, she didn't quite give me the same feel as she did in Newmarket or especially today. She jumped and she was very professional. She wanted to please me the whole way. She wanted to get her head in front, and I feel when she was when she needed to be, she was very tough and uh, she's got a lot of scope for for the future. I think. Said so has talked a few times just now and previously about her being quite a light filly so that he's going to have to be quite sparing at least at this stage in her career with the campaigning. Do you see that in her and have you, does that translate to feel on her back? Yeah, she is. She's a, she's a gorgeous looking filly but obviously physically she could probably fill out a bit but uh, look, Said's trained thousands of horses so I'm, I'm sure he'll know what to do and he's got a great team behind him as well. Um, but today I was just very impressed with the strength she gave me. You know, Even though she's lightly framed, she, she, she felt like a strong a strong horse when she was galloping which is obviously a very positive sign and mentally she'll probably come on again um no it's just very exciting and you know to be wearing such you know famous colors in in, in a group two in, in in newmarket is a very special moment for myself so it's, it's just great well, it wasn't that long ago that you were riding your first pattern winner and now i suppose relatively speaking they're coming quite thick and fast aren't they well i don't know as i said they're coming thick and fast well, i mean there's i mean there'll be plenty of people who want to be in yeah. your position no of course no I, i'm getting great support off obviously saeed and, and roger Roger Varian and, and various other trainers. Uh, it's it's you know it's been a fantastic few years, and my agent Adam Brook does a, a fantastic job as well. But yeah, look, you, you work towards days like this, and you hope everything can fall right on the day. And when it does, it's fantastic. There'll be days when it doesn't, and we'll, we'll have to move forward from that. But um, look, we'll enjoy today. Could this be the filly that provides your first Group One? Do you think? I don't know. I don't want to say it, but she, she'll definitely be going towards a Group One anyway. Um, yeah. And you know, she's ticking all the boxes. So. So I was thinking Cheveley Park. Does that sound about right? Do you feel that she's just she's he thinks six maximum seven for her? Yeah, exactly. At this moment, anyway, I think next year, it, when she grows a little bit, she she definitely get a mile. Um, but for now, yeah, that sounds the right way to go anyway, and you know, give her plenty of time in between as well. well many congratulations on this Group Two success. Well done, Ray. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You.